fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. some parts of the early western United States, outlaws ruled the country, and the man who wore a sheriff's badge was marked for sudden death. It was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that the honest settlers found protection for their lives and property. His strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, brought law and order to the lawless frontier and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Blue Rock. The town needs cleaning up. hi Silver. Away. <laughs> Thunder rolled heavily over the hills beyond the town of Blue Rock. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode through the night toward the narrow, dusty main street, they could smell the approaching storm. We get to town just in time, Kimasabi. It rained plenty soon. The rain will be good, Tonto. Just as well that no one sees us. There, Blue Rock. You can see it in the lightning flashes down below us. The only lighted building is the gambling hall. We have to wake up storekeeper to get supply. Yes. Tonto, rain up. What matter? I saw something in that last lightning flash. There's a man walking alone down the main street. That's not the odd thing. Tonto, I saw three other men hiding behind buildings. I'm almost certain at least one of them had a gun. Mm, that bad. There, another flash of lightning. Did you see? Uh, Tonto, see? Him walk down the street like him look for fight. That won't be a fight, Tonto. It'll be murder. Get ready. We may have to ride in and help him. Shannon, come and get me. The sheriff of the town of Blue Rock, I come to place you under arrest, Kelvin. You want to surrender peaceable? Yeah, I'm walking into the street, Shannon. I'm waiting for your answer, Kelvin. No sheriff arrests me. I'm cleaning this town up. Are you wearing your guns? Yeah. I wouldn't want to draw on a man without his guns. You're right obliging, Aubrey Shannon. Just man against man, eh? I'm sworn to uphold the law in the town of Blue Rock. I don't like to be ornery, but you're coming feet first if necessary. That's enough talk, Shannon. My answer is no. So be it. If it's shooting you want, you'll get it. That's up to you, Kelvin. Make a move for your holsters and you draw lead. I warned you, Shannon. All right, draw. Come on, Silver. What the... You not shoot, sir. Up behind me. Oh, my There's no time to argue. Get on this horse. Come on, Tonto, to the hills. Get him up, Kelvin. Come on, Silver. Come on, Bruce. Get the sheriff. Shoot, get him. Yeah, they come in so fast there wasn't a chance. Shoot. Stop, take your bullets. No sense wasting lead. 
A clean out of sight. Who in Thunder was that hombre riding the white horse? I don't know, Kelvin, but I've seen one thing. He was wearing a mask. <laughs> Mister, I'm sure obliged to you. You mean to say that rattlesnake had three men ready to shoot me from the side? Ah, we saw them from this hill when the lightning flashed. You and your engine pod got sharp eyes. We reached you just in time. You wouldn't have stood a chance. This town needs cleaning up real bad. Calvin runs things to suit himself. There's been three sheriffs before me. What happened to them, Shannon? Well, Calvin got them. Dead? Two of them are dead, buried in Boot Hill. And the third? Well, never mind the third. The third used to be my friend. But not anymore. I see. Yeah, I reckon you do. You got a way of figuring things, ain't you? His name is Douglas, Lamb Douglas. He was the sheriff before me. Only he went soft and quit. Said his family was more important than anything else. Well, perhaps his wife... Sure, or... his wife. She talked him into giving up the job. But I blame him, too. They're living on a ranch out of ways and... Well, never mind. I'm sheriff now. But I don't give up. You intend to get Kelvin? It's him or me. You're not married, are you, Shannon? No, I ain't. I'm all alone. But don't go looking for excuses for Lem Douglas. I was just asking. My job's to get Kelvin, Savvy. It won't be easy. Kelvin has a gang of outlaws to follow him. How many deputies have you got? No deputies. Huh? You all alone? That's right, Injun. I suppose you'd call me stubborn. Not stubborn, Shannon. Perhaps too courageous. Yeah, maybe so. But a man's built a certain way, that's all. Got to keep trying. If I only had a couple of men with me, men like you and the engine. You have. Just a couple of more men to... Huh? What, what do you mean? Where? Right here, Shannon. Tonto and I. Mm, we help. Mister, you mean you'll help? Kelvin is an outlaw, a gambler and killer. You want to clean this town up and so do we. But it ain't your quarrel. We'll make it ours. Shannon, you can count on us. Mister, I'm the kind of a gent that judges people by the way they act, not how they look. For instance, I'm paying no attention to that mask you're wearing. You needn't worry. We're your friends. And Tonto friend, too. Yes, sir. I think maybe now we can do something about Kelvin. You and me and the engine, mister. Yes, sirree. Kelvin, boss, we got to talk. Oh, uh, howdy, Brock. It's important. You know your chance the game is over Pass your chips on the way out. Vamoose. You got mud splattered on your boots, Brock. Been riding, huh? Kelvin, you know who that masked man is? I'm waiting to hear. Follow the trail out of town, right after we missed the sheriff. Boss, that masked man is a lone ranger. A lone ranger, is he? Yeah, and that ain't the worst of it. He's joined up with the sheriff, him and the engine both. He's going to help the sheriff clean up Blue Rock. That means us. You had your gun with you, Brug. Yeah, and I was close enough to... And why didn't you shoot? Why? Oh, I was alone. All I... right, Skid. All right. What are we going to do? What's the mass man going to do? Well, they didn't talk over any plans. I see. Well, I reckon I'm safe enough for a while. After all, I get a dozen men with me. You'll need them. They'll stay close to me. Kelvin, I figure you ought to get them before they get you. Now, if you had a scheme... That's just what I have got. Tell the boys we're riding out in the morning. What's the scheme? It's just beginning to shape up. It all depends on what happens tomorrow morning when we call on Lem Douglas. Lem Douglas? But he used to be the sheriff before Shannon. Him and Shannon was friends. But and... your lip. But That's you... enough. I know what I'm doing. Tell the boys. We're calling on Douglas in the morning. <laughs> What's wrong, Lem? A bunch of riders coming. A bunch? I thought you said you saw only two. A man on a white horse and an engine on a paint. It's not them. I watched them earlier. They were just sort of wandering around. They're gone now. Then who are the others? Looks like Kelvin. Kelvin? Um, maybe they'll pass by. He's got at least a dozen men. They stopped. Lem. Now, there ain't nothing they can do. Just take things easy, Abby. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy, Douglas. What do you want here? Douglas, I come out here to talk to you. Yeah? 
I figure I can use you for a little job I want done. You got an all-fired nerve trying to tell me I got 12 men with me, too. If I was you, I'd listen. Speak your piece and get out. That's better. Might as well be sociable. What's the rainy weather we've been having, either? Never mind the palaver. Get to the point. Douglas, there's some settlers in from the east. They picked up that section below the dry wash to squat on. I want them chase it off. It's free land. It's my land. The government says... Never mind what the government says. I say it's mine and I say to get off. Tomorrow night, Douglas, me and the boys plan to burn them out. You're going to help us. Burn them out? Yeah. Use a torch. And I want you there, Sammy. Why, you honor a pole cat? You couldn't drag me into that. That's murder. Get out, Kelvin. Get out. Sure, I'm getting out, ma'am. But if you know what's good for you, Douglas, you'll obey orders. And just one more warning, Douglas. You keep your mouth shut about this, Sammy. Don't talk to nobody. Remember, Douglas, tomorrow night. Adios. Come on, boys. Liam. Liam, I don't care how you feel about Shannon. You get your horse and ride pronto. Tell him what's going to happen. Kelvin can't do that. Tonto and I have been wandering around this section all morning. Just getting some idea of what it's like. Did you run across Kelvin? We not see anybody. The knowledge of the country will help us when the time comes to take care of Kelvin. When do you figure that'll be? He's got too many men to make a direct attack, Shannon. You learned that last night. Yeah, but it's just as I... Somebody ride past. Shannon! Well, I'll be... It's Douglas. Shannon! I had to see you. I ain't interested in what anybody like you has you to You gotta see. listen. I don't know who these gents are, but you're wearing a mask. Never mind my mask. We're friends of Shannon. Which is more than you are. I don't care how you feel. You gotta hear me out. I told hold you I... Hold on, hold on, Shannon. Go ahead, Douglas. What is it? Kelvin's planning to burn out those settlers over by the dry wash. He's planning to put the torch to their shacks tomorrow night. Why, the dirty sidewinder. He can't force those settlers to move. It's against the law. Laws don't matter to him. From what Kelvin's been doing, the only law he follows is his own law. How come you learned about this, Douglas? Because he ordered me to join up with him, that's how. I don't blame him for thinking you would, after the way you handed in your badge. Do you believe I'd help him, Shannon? No. I'll say that much for you. But, mass man, we better do something about this. And what we do? Shannon, I think this is the chance we've wanted. You mean to get Kelvin? So he's planning to burn out those settlers, huh? Well, he's going to get burned himself. He'll get more than he bargained for. Kelvin, you're loco. <laughs> All the fool ideas telling Douglas. By the minute we left, he headed off to warn Shannon. I looked back and saw him. <laughs> I tell you, I saw him. So did I, Brock. Matter of fact, I figured that's what he would do. But, but boss, you'll tell Shannon. you will tell him we aim to burn out them squatters. Sure, you'll tell Shannon. Only, uh, we ain't gonna do that. Huh? You ain't? No, we ain't. I cooked that yarn up on purpose. You see, I'm gonna get the mask, man, an engine out of the way. Then I'm setting a trap for Shannon and Douglas. We're gonna get rid of them just like that. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now back to our story. Kelvin and his gang of bad men ruled the town of Blue Rock and the surrounding country because of their numbers. When the Lone Ranger and Tonto saved the sheriff from their guns, Kelvin figured out a scheme to get rid of all three and make his position secure. The Lone Ranger and Tonto did not know of his plan. The next day, the rain came again. And in the Douglas Ranch House... I hope the rain comes down in buckets. If it rains hard enough, Kelvin won't be able to set those homes on fire. Not tonight. Shannon. Yeah? You've been mighty quiet since you come in. You spent all yesterday trying to round up folks to stand up against Kelvin. Did you get any? No, no, I didn't. That's what's making you so quiet. They're all afraid of Kelvin, afraid to move. Matter of fact, I'm surprised your husband had enough gumption to even tell me about it. Now listen here. I'm sorry. Why don't you two stop scrapping like a couple of hungry wolves? What for? A man who'd give up his badge just because... I had enough. Now listen, Shannon, why don't you ask me? Ask you what? You ask everybody else to help you lick Kelvin. Go on, ask me. Douglas. Lem, you mean you will? Sure, I will. I've been waiting for you to ask me. Uh, but your wife, Abby... It's all right with me if he does. I made a mistake when I asked Lem to give up his badge. I didn't realize how crooked and dangerous Kelvin is, not just to us, but to everybody. So I told Lem I release him from his promise. Well, I... Abby, I... By gravy, Lem, it sure is good to be friends again. Shake hands. Masked man himself. Engine, it's all fixed. They're friends again. Oh, Tonto, see. And that good. But what about Kelvin? Yeah, I clean forgot for a second. Uh, where's the masked man, Engine? Right here, Shannon. Oh, you and the redskin been out most of the night, mister. You're soaking wet. And we're going out again, Shannon. Did you get any volunteers? One. I got Lem Douglas. That's all. It will have to do. Come, Tonto. Oh, but, Mr. Wait, it's pouring pitchforks outside. We can't help that. Well, what's on your mind? Is something troubling you? Plenty, Shannon. I'm wondering whether the story Douglas told us is true. Well, of course it's true. We both heard Kelvin. He stood right there. What I mean is, does Kelvin really intend to go through with his scheme? Huh? Mr., I don't savvy. I have a feeling that Kelvin may have something else in mind. Those squatters have been there a long while. Why should he suddenly care about them? What else could he be planning? I don't know, Mrs. Douglas. That's why Tonto and I are riding out now. We're going to take a look at that dry wash where the squatters are. We go now, huh? Coming, Tonto. Adios. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Well, I'll be... I wonder what he's puzzling about. What other scheme could Kelvin have? Tonto. Kelvin doesn't plan to burn out those settlers. How you know that? The grass is tall enough. But look, it's been raining for days. Why, it wouldn't burn at all. Not right. We came all the way out here and I... Tonto. Huh? Where's Kelvin now? Last time we watched him, him back in town, Blue Rock. We've come all the way out here. That means Shannon and Douglas are alone at that ranch near town. If Kelvin's been watching, he knows we're divided. Him tell Douglas about settlers on purpose? What else? Turn around, it's a long way back. This way, Scout. Come on, Silver. Cover the ground, old boy. Faster. Near ranch. I don't see Shannon's horse. Oh, gracious sakes, the masked man. I thought you and the engine rode out to look at them squatters. Mrs. Douglas, where's the sheriff? He sure got back in a hurry. I... Sheriff? Well, he's gone. Him and my husband left hours ago. Where did they go? Well, a man came out from Blue Rock. He told the sheriff he overheard Kelvin scheming to hold up a gold freight shipment over east of Placer. The sheriff didn't dare wait east for you. East of Placer. I don't believe there is any gold shipment. Oh, what do you mean? That informer must have been paid by Kelvin. Yes, ma'am, what are you saying? Your husband and the sheriff have ridden off toward an ambush, Mrs. Douglas. They'll kill them. Which way they go? East. The sheriff said they could pick up Kelvin's trail. You'll have to do the same, mister, and that means you can't travel too fast. Not if you want to keep that trail. We'll do our best. Don't give up hope. Well, I'll try not to, but they left hours ago. Hours ago. There's no telling how far out they are. Get him up. Come on, Silver. We're on their trail, all right, Douglas. Kelvin's up ahead someplace. Does it bother you? I'm wondering whether you played this smart, Sheriff. Huh? It's beginning to look Hold like... Hold your we... jaw there, Douglas. I know my job. Sure. But do you know how to run it? Who was that hombre who gave the warning? A drifter. He'd been around Blue Rock for a week or so. Why? Maybe we was a mite hasty taking his say-so. Well, why shouldn't we? 
We're out here now. We found Calvin's tracks heading eastwards, just like he said. Yeah, only... I thought you got over being scared. Who says I ain't? If you feel like that, why don't you pull out? Skedaddle, head back for your fireplace. Go on. What will you do? I ain't quitting, if that's what you mean. Then we're both a couple of fools. Because what I think we're doing right or not, I'm sticking with you. Now you're speaking out. Wish we had the masked man in the engine with us. Well, there wasn't time. If Calvin knows we're after him, we'd be caught like a horse in quicksand. Don't be loco, Douglas. How could he know? Come on, let's amble. Get up there. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get up. Maybe we ought to go faster, Kelvin. It would be a local brain maverick, Shorty. We're going slow on purpose. Sure, only... All right, say it, only what? Maybe we're biting off more than we can chaw. Ten of us against just the sheriff and Douglas? Suppose the Lone Ranger and that engine show up. They won't show up. Why do you think I made all that big talk to Douglas? The mass man and his party way out to the west, looking at them settlers' homesteads. <laughs> Reckon they're wondering why they went out in the first place. I hope they don't get back before we finish off Shannon and Douglas. They won't. Besides, they'll be turning dark soon. How can they follow our trail? The engine's got a right good reputation for hunting out track. Forget it. Once we finish the sheriff and Douglas, we got nothing to worry about. We, we can handle the range of this part. Well, I just see it's no use and drift off someplace else. And good riddance. Uh, sounds reasonable. I'm no squaw brain, Shorty. I know every trick there is. Hey! It's Brock. Well, he's been watching the back trail. Hold it up, gents. Whoa, oh, pull that. Whoa. Oh, oh. Speak up, Brock. You seen him? Yeah, Kelvin. Coming along the back trail and plenty fast. Sure, fast. I told the boys to leave plenty of signs. Are there four of them, Brock? Four. Shorty's plumb concerned about the mask on Brady. Oh, no, there's just two of them, Shannon and Douglas, riding alone. Gino, you know, looks like everything's lining up. Yeah. How long before they get inside? Oh, 15 minutes, maybe. Just right. All you boys know what to do? Yeah, we know, Calvin. There's one thing I want you all to remember. I want to capture them two alive, Savvy. Hey, wait a second, boss. Ain't you going to feed them lead? Sure I am, sure. Only I want to have the pleasure of doing a personal, Savvy. I put two sheriffs six feet under. <laughs> Thought Douglas resigning might spoil my record. But now I'll have them all. <laughs> Sun's going down, Shannon. Yeah, a little while longer we won't see tracks no more. Have to make camp. Kelvin won't be stopping. That is, if his plans are what we calculate. That's the second time you hinted, Douglas. Yeah. Still figure we've been tricked, huh? Not figuring, just wondering. It's too late to turn back now. You never had much sense, Shannon. I see you're right with me. Yeah, reckon I ain't got much sense neither. At least my guns are loose in the holsters. If we locate trouble, I can maybe set a couple off their horses before we go down. I'm loaded and ready. Gets awful quiet at sundown, don't it, Shannon? Yeah. It's that quiet you could... What's that? Douglas, a horse. Oh, we've got him. Take him alive. An ambush. It's Calvin. Start shooting. We'll make them fight plenty before they get us. Come on, Silver. Can you keep up with this tunnel? It's fine. Get him up, Scout. We may have to slow down soon. We're just guessing that they've come this way. It's too dark to be sure. Not right, Jim Sabi. Soon we find... Oh, gunfire. Not right. Gotta hear it. Shannon and Douglas, they've been cornered. Ah, Calvin and his gang, they... Jim Sabi, I do not hear gunfire anymore. The firing stopped. Perhaps we're too late. But at least we can trap Calvin while he's not prepared for us. Him got plenty men. We'll cut right through his gang. Once we get Calvin, the rest will give up. Now ride. Ride as you've never ridden before. Get him up. Kyle Silver. Holler. You sneaking, thieving coyote. Ten men against two, and we gave you a good fight. Not ten anymore, Shannon. There's three of his pack won't follow him any longer. <laughs> Talking won't do you no good. You certainly fell for my story, didn't you? And me, my guns will have it out man to man. What for? No use arguing, Shannon. Kelvin will shoot a man in the back as soon as look at him. I made an exception in your case, gents. I wanted the satisfaction of doing this job my own self. Load up my guns, Brock. Right. 
You were setting your horses, gents. I'll have the boys drop the reins and let you ride. Then I start shooting. Not me. If I get a bullet, I stand right here and face it. How about you, Douglas? Likewise. Suit yourself. Two sheriffs at one time. That must be some kind of a record, eh? Here you are, Kelvin. All loaded. Thanks, Brock. Stand around, boys. This ought to be right interesting. Will you get shooting, Kelvin? Why waste time? Easy, shorty. There's no hurry. Uh, what in blazes? Uh, Who shot them guns from your hand? Where'd they come from? No, Silver. Get them up, Kelvin. It's the Lone Ranger. Hey, come on, mister. Shoot them down. Wait a minute, drop their guns, Kelvin. One shot and my gun goes off aimed at your heart. Don't shoot. Nobody shoot. Don't pull trigger. Ah, him yellow like coyote. Shannon Douglas, get the guns from them. Kelvin, tell your men to hand those guns over. Do like the masked man says, boys. He's got his guns pointing straight at me. All right, yours too, Brock, both of them. Uh, here you are. And one more. That's it. All collected, masked man. There ain't any one of them has a shooting iron left. You sure caught him by surprise. We're glad to see you're both still alive. Todd and I came as fast as we could. That was plenty fast enough, wasn't it, Kelvin? Uh, you're a prisoner, Sheriff. Now, Todd and I must be on our way. Adios. Adios. Maybe sometime we see you again. Get him up, scout. Yeah. Maybe we will see the masked man again, Shannon. Reckon if there's trouble, we will. That's when he turns up. Now, supposing you rope these zombies together so they won't try nothing. Yeah. And I'll put these shooting irons in my saddlebags. That's right, Jans. Keep your hands high and stand steady. <laughs> I reckon this is the first time you ever got took to jail by two sheriffs instead of one, ain't it, Kelvin? <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.